Demolition of the old Jeremiah Morrow Bridge did not go as planned this morning. We had Chopper 9 up there, the only local helicopter getting you breaking news first to give you that view no one else can give you. Not on your sides, Kristen Swilly has what happened. Well, the oldest portions of the Jeremiah Morrow Bridge are no more. After a moment that was supposed to last a couple of seconds, drug on for much, much longer. You have to expect the unexpected. And that's exactly what today's demolition delivered. So one of the charges came loose this morning, um, so they're going to reset, take a look at it. The bridge was scheduled to come down at 7. The team's family members even showed up to cheer them on. He's been here all week um, with his crew. Um, doing lots of little things and um, yesterday he had a 30 minute task and he had to have a certain time where it wasn't raining and those sorts of things. So um, he's just been very busy working on it all week. But that first detonation was a dud, only destroying a part of one side of the bridge. Just have to check all those connections again and uh, and get ready to go again. Again, didn't come until nearly noon after hopes of bringing down the bridge to other times throughout the morning left onlookers waiting. Mishaps aside, Mark Newberg, who came here to capture the moment on camera. It's a big project. I think they said seven years. To complete. Is also hopeful this is the sign of newer, sturdier roadways throughout the state. And he's not alone. It's good to see our family being safe across it, of course. I have lots of friends who are afraid of the bridge. Um, maybe this will help them out. Who knows? Reporting in Warren County, Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side.